Category 5 TV with Hillary Rumble, Krista Wells, Eric Kidd, Rachel Zhu, and Robbie Ferguson. And now, here's a clip from Category 5 Technology TV. Brought to you by Eco Alkalines, environmentally responsible batteries, cat5.tv slash eco. Thanks to Garby, who sends us the first email of the hey. night. Thanks, Garby. Hello, Robbie and co-host, a.k.a. Hillary. Does Robbie feel like explaining a little bit about file and folder permissions on a Linux web host? I'm installing a CMS lemon stand, and it asks me for what I want the files and folders to be assigned. But I'm not sure exactly how to do it, since um, when I think I give them enough permissions to do everything, it fails. Mm. Only 777 seems to work for me, but I know that this isn't safe. Could you please explain this a little bit for everyone? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, so what, what he's talking about here for those who are, are, are saying, what is he talking about here? Is basically file permissions on your server, right? When you're running a, a website, um, every single file that's on that web server, every file that's, uh, and folder that are on that server have permissions set that say what people are allowed to do and what people are not allowed to do. Basically, can they read the file or folder? Can they write to it? And can they execute code? Okay, with PHP it's cool because you don't have to have the execute bit set because it's uh, it's a Apache module, for example. So uh, with your scripts, uh, Garby, you could have, uh, for example, um, read and write access for the owner, but only read access for other users. So that would be six four four, right? So that would be your PHP scripts, for example. Your Directories, though, you definitely, you're right in thinking that 777 is really dangerous because what 777 does, I'll just kind of explain. So read is four, write is two, and execute is one, okay? So seven is four plus two plus one, okay? So if you have six, that's four plus two. So you've got read and write, but not one. So you don't have execute bit set. So if you have 777, you've got read, I should back up. Okay, so the first number, seven, is your owner. The second number is anyone who's in the owner's group. And the third number is anyone in the world. doesn't matter who they are, what kind of permissions they have. So if you have 777 set, that means the owner can write, can read, sorry, can read, can write, and can execute. The owner's group can read, can write, and execute. And anyone else in the world can read, here's the dangerous thing, can write, and can execute. So with 777, somebody with a little know-how would be able to put files on your server, execute them, destroy your website, install malware, get viruses going on your server and distributing through your website and things like that. It could be a real mess. So for directories, you want 7 for your owner, so 7, and then 5, which is uh, 4 plus, uh, no, pardon me, uh, you'd be looking at 4 plus 1, yeah. So you'd have read and execute on the folder and read and execute for world, so 755. On the other hand, for your scripts, like I say, 644, that's going to be 6 is read and write, right, 4 plus 2, and 4 is going to be read and read, 644. Okay, hope that makes sense. Can you have a permission of one, Chris Reich is wondering, which would be execute bit only, um, so that you could execute while not having permission to read? And, and yes, you could, but then you would have the issue of who has access to actually reading that file. So it'd be a, that'd be a tough call. I'm, I'm unsure that would be kind of a paradoxical situation, but it's possible. So the only other thing to look at and I see a lot of stuff going by in the chat room. Mm -hmm. Hillary, maybe you can let me know if there are anything that, that I need to answer. Um, but Garby, the only other thing is ownership. If you create an Apache server, that's your web server, right? Um, let's say you, you put files in that server. Okay, I'm going to bring up my terminal, and I'm, I'm going to actually do this. Okay, we've looked at this before, where, okay, on my server, I've or my computer, wherever, I've got slash var slash www. And we've put a couple things in there, but look at index. Index.php is currently owned by root and root. 
right? So that file was popped there by the root user, but that's probably not the best scenario because you want it to be uh, probably running as the same user as is running Apache. So you may want to do some chown as well. So my HTTPD, which is the HTTP daemon, I'll see if Apache is running. Yeah. Okay. So what I did here, and I'll I'll put the command in your uh, in the show notes for episode number two thirty one. But basically, that command there, it's going to tell me which which user. It's going to basically grep through uh, what running processes have the name Apache two. So you'll see Apache two. Okay. And this is being run by www dash data. So what I can do because that's the running user who's running Apache, I might want to go chown www-data, www-data, so that's user and group, index.php. Now look, ownership not permitted, changing of ownership, that's because I am in var www, so on Ubuntu, I need to use sudo. If you're on... Uh, Debian, you'll need to use su. So now if I do ls-all, you'll see that that file is now owned by the same user who's running Apache, which is www-data. Now in some scenarios, the reason that I wanted to show you that is that in some scenarios, if you drag and drop your web files as root, you won't be able to execute them because the running user who is Apache, this is probably what's happened to you, Garby, because you're saying that you have to set it as 777. So I'll bet you those files belong to root, because you drag them and drop them as root, you haven't ch owned them, so they are not able to be accessed by the www data user, for example, if that's the running user. And therefore, the only way that you can get access to those are to go seven, whatever, seven, right? Because that last bit, everyone has to be seven in your case. So I think that's probably what's happening to you. And I hope that all that makes massive amounts of sense. <laughs> all right. All right. Very good. To to kind of put take something that's a little complex and hopefully put a, a spin on it that that makes it actually make sense. A little bit more clear. Category Five TV is a production of Prodigy Digital Solutions and is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution 2.5 Canada. Thanks for watching.